think that seventy thousand dollars has been raised. And, you know, I but I thought um, it would be good to also remind you what it's like to be one of the people who needs protecting it sometimes. Um, speaking as a woman who has been cancelled many, many, many times on the internet and by the industry, um, it means a lot to me to be here tonight. And it means a lot to me to show my success for the channel. Um, Sinead's music, and especially her words, her words and her songs, shaped me massively when I was a little songwriter. And you know, she really set the bar. And so many things could have happened with her career. And, and then I sort of watched what happened to the bar as I moved into my 20s and my 30s. And Sinead was canceled pre-internet. When Sinead tore up that picture of the Pope, and I don't know if I would be saying this if we weren't in New York City and I knew there were, you know, a lot of people from the industry probably sitting in this hall. And by the industry, I mean everyone who works to make music or a night like this possible. The agents and the managers and the labels and the bookers and the people, the club owners. After Sinead died, I talked to a lot of people about what happened after that moment. And one of the things that happened is that she no longer got called for the gigs. Mm. It didn't matter if some organization like Pan America said that she was really brave and really bold. It didn't matter if the stage got taken away from her and she couldn't get the gig. And that's what happened, and I think it was really hard for her to recover from that moment. She spent a lot of time trying. And I want to tell you, as a songwriter who writes really emotional, dark stuff and, and, and sticks my hand down my throat into my heart to find like the, the strangest, hardest moments of life, to put them into songs like you're hearing tonight, it's a weird fucking job <laughs> to do that as a job and then to try and live a normal life, you know, in a town with a kid. And you all know, like, if you're here and you bought the ticket and you love Sinead's work, you know that that work has value. But it's really hard to put value on it. And that's one of the things that's really hard with what's happening with the music industry right now is, like, everything's for sale but having a price tag on the way Sinead O'Connor's voice makes you feel. Or Shane's voice. Like, they're total weirdos. So am I, but like we chose this job. And we didn't have to choose this job. We could have chosen normal jobs. We could have worked retail. <laughs> but we knew that we had this strange thing of value to give you. And one of the things that I'm feeling lately is that it's just getting easier and easier to not speak the truth and to not sing the truth because it's so scary out there. It's so frightening. The idea of being canceled, the idea of being And I'm watching more and more artists just step back from the stage and step back from the mic, mic and not say what they would say if they didn't think it was going to get them in trouble. And every artist I know on this stage is feeling this right now. It's a hard, hard time to be an artist and just be messy. But for the people in the industry who can give us the gig, we need you to take the risk. The way you say you the gig is
and the experiences of discourage and motherhood and mental illness. You know how valuable it is to have music about that. But the industry is never going to say, hey, we have a great idea. <laughs> you have to do it. You have to support people like us. We need you so badly. So as we do this weird fucked up job and as we try to walk this tightrope and sing songs about the dark, just remember, you need music like this. And that means we need you. We need you to take care of us. We need you to be careful with us. It's such a strange job. Mm -hmm. So please, I beg of you. There was this meme that went around, you might have seen it right after Sinead died. There was this meme that went around on Instagram with a picture of Sinead and Amy Winehouse and Billie Holiday and Whitney Houston, and it said, stop treating women like shit when they're alive. So, this is me asking you guys, if you're one of the ones who's still alive, take, take care of us. We appreciate it. We need you so much. And to sing this song with me, I want to
Thank you.